I love this tray. Look how big this tray is. Oh my goodness, that is huge. I definitely think this would be a great coffee table tray. So I was really excited about this tray and how big it was. So I decided to use ink by Waverly and I'm going to come in and just do one coat. I'm gonna be painting the outside edges because I'm gonna put something down in the middle. The last time I was shopping at Ikea, I found this really awesome rug and I'm gonna be using that as the base to my tray. So I'm gonna start by just cutting off all that fringe because I don't want to use that. Next, I'll cut off the edge wherever like the white thread is holding it in place. And then I'm simply going to measure how long I want it to be. I want it to fit perfectly into my tray. So I'll measure and cut. I'm gonna repeat those steps on the opposite side as well. Now to attach the rug, I'm just gonna simply use some hot glue and push it down in place. Now to cover up the frayed edges on the side, I went through and pulled off some pieces of yarn and I'm simply going to hot glue those down just to create a border. Whenever you do this, make sure you don't add too much hot glue, otherwise you're gonna see the hot glue along the edge. So you just want a little bit of hot glue and it finishes off the edges really nicely. And I love the way that this tray turned out. I think it looks so nice sitting out with some decor that I had around my house. this lamp right here. Look at the base of that one. The shade looks to be like perfect and I definitely could update the base of this. Now they do have two but hmm, do I get both? I don't know. I may only need one of them. Okay I'm gonna get I'm gonna get just one. I think this one's the better one so I'm gonna grab this one. Ooh, I'm excited about this one. So this lamp definitely was reminding me of a shape I saw of a lamp on the Anthropology website. So I wanted to give it kind of a more neutral, natural look. So I came in with a tan flat spray paint and I'm just gonna be spray painting the top half of the lamp. Next, I'm gonna take a piece of shelf liner because it's something I had laying around and I'm gonna dab the brown and caramel color all over the top half of this lampshade. And I'm trying to make it look really textured and wood-like. Next, I'm going to come in with Waverly White Chalk Paint and I'm gonna paint the bottom half. Now I'm going to take a Dollar Tree sack and this is kind of like an older technique. I'm gonna dab the paint on with the Dollar Tree sack just to make kind of a fun transition between the two colors. I'm also going to spray paint the top of this lamp white and then I'll put it back together. And here's a look at how this lamp turned out.
Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.